Now an update to a story we first told you about earlier this year. The family of a man who froze to death in Portland's back cove is suing the city and three first responders. The lawsuit alleges their unwillingness to pull Eric Cohen out of the water is what led to his death. News Center Maine's Samantha York has the details. He was a father and a son and a big brother. This is how John Cohen remembers his son. A free spirited, happy young man and had so much to live for and so much to offer. He's got a little girl. She's only three years old, little daughter, absolutely beautiful. Eric Cohen's lifeless body was pulled from Portland's Harbor in April. The 25 year old had allegedly assaulted his girlfriend while walking back Cove. According to police, first responders were called, and when they arrived, Cohen was naked and took off running, eventually plunging into the cold water. We don't know exactly what happened to Eric that day, but we do know there was some kind of mental health crisis and that he needed help. But court documents allege help never came, which is why his father is now suing the city of Portland for wrongful death. The family's attorney, Vern Parody. Mr. Cohen was clearly in the midst of a mental health um, episode. He was in the water for about 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes, and got hypothermic. In that time, court documents paint a picture of first responders doing anything but responding. At one point, a member of Portland's fire department reportedly threatened Cohen if he were to come out of the water. Another, according to the lawsuit, was a longtime member of the United States Coast Guard who offered to pull him out but had to allegedly wait for his superior's approval. Mr. Cohen was being chased by the police and uh, but was clearly in distress and could have been saved and was clearly not armed. He was he was completely naked. The well-trained officer knew that he was not going to make it. By the time the rescue boat arrived, it was too late. Eric was dead. Now his father has this message. But if we can learn anything, let's let's get better prepared. Um, there's a lot of people out there that are suffering from addiction, from mental health, and 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 they need and they need help. And we need to know how to respond to that. Cohen's father tells me that his son did battle addiction, but he had been sober for eight months the day that he died. We reached out to city officials in Portland for comment, but we were told they cannot comment on pending litigation, which is common practice in Portland. I'm Samantha York. New Center, Maine.